think a town like Alice when I was a child, um, because it was the first grown-up book they let me read when I was at the library. The Art of Being Normal. So it's about this um, boy who wants to be uh, a girl, and he's like trying to tell his parents, and he has like a bad life at home. It kind of makes you realise how lucky you are. Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates, because you like find out what people are going through and realise that some little things can lead into like big things, and it like helps you realise the world. Goodness, that's almost an impossible question. Um, well, I've just been in a talk where we were talking about the power of um, literature to influence young people and children's thoughts about the world around them. So with that in mind, I'd have to say Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, which helped me at a young age to explore ideas about injustice and racism and sexism and completely changed my outlook on life. It's a children's book, and as UK Children's Laureate for another week before I hand over, um, it's something that really affected me when I was eight years old, read it for the first time. It's a very emotional scene and I think I will draw it for you. Black Beauty, and I read that when I was, I think, 10, 10 years old maybe, and just, uh, I remember just weeping. Oh, Middlemarch, without any doubt. Yeah, I just love Middlemarch. I would like to, I'd like to be Middlemarch. I'd certainly like to be Dorothea. I just think that incredible struggle to live an honourable life, and the fact that everything surrounding you, and yourself too, is always going to prevent that happening. From surf to page, and it was about a boy in the Middle Ages who starts life as a surf and somehow worms his way up the social ladder to become a page. And I found this book completely absorbing. But the really interesting thing about that is it's not to do with the book, it's to do with how old you were when you read it. And there are just some books that just dive into your heart like a nail. And they're there forever. <laughs>